Hey, happy Wednesday. Um, just here to do another Clubhouse takeaway. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about from today's call was uh, there's a there's an agent that came up that does a lot with social media, with, with videos and uh, reels and TikToks and, and just posting in general. And um, <clears throat> there's a, a group of agents from Clubhouse and a different uh, club in a different room that is doing a great idea, which is a 75, basically it's 75 hard, but, you know, real estate of real estate version, but also specifically doing videos, focusing on videos for 75 days. And um, the agent that was in our room uh, came up and was like, you know, I don't know if it's something that I want to, you know, really dive into and, and focus on because it's just, it, it may feel a little bit overwhelming to me. Um, and I just said, you know, I just said, hey, you know, if it's something that you're already doing, do I feel like social media uh, isn't a, it should be a huge component to everyone's business? No. Do I think that a real estate agent should have it? Yes. But in this agent's case, she was already doing it. So does she really need to compound and really focus on the 75 day hard video challenge or just continue doing what she's been doing on a consistent basis? And, you know, I just said, Hey, you know, because you're already doing it, you may not want to focus on going 75 days of, of video because what happens is a lot of agents we just try to do everything and we get nothing done right for me like video is something that i've been working on i've been doing these clubhouse takeaways i've been going on instagram lives and you know i'm doing podcasts and, and posting those and um you know it's one of those things where i'm all for you know a challenge and um you know helping agents get through the uncomfortableness of trying something new. But the question should always come back to you on, is this going to be a foundation? Do I want this to be a foundational piece to my business? If that answer is no, then don't get distracted by it. If that answer is yes, then go and lean all into it and do it. But then you have to look at your business. And I always talk about three business pillars, right? Focus on just those three to two uh, sorry, two to three business pillars. And if that becomes a business pillar and maybe you already had three, don't add it as a fourth. Get rid of one of the three, right? I believe SOI, your sphere of influence, your circle of influence, whatever you want to call it, should be a main component. You know, our team, Internet Leads, is a second pillar to the business. So if someone wanted to go and focus on social, social media, uh, you know, building out videos, the content, go and do it go and do it right because in that case you know you only had two pillars but if you already have three main, main pillars and they're not dialed in and they are not a foundational piece to your business don't get distracted by it just because it is the next you know quote unquote hot thing that everything that every real estate agent should do do i think it's important yes do i think every agent needs to focus on it no um so i thought that was just a great reminder uh today of uh just because you know, everyone or some other people are doing it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to implement that into your business if it's not truly something that you really want to do, or if you think it's going to be a distraction, or if you think it's going to be, um, you know, just puts that, that extra stress on your business to where it just overwhelms you. So if you guys are looking to join in on these types of conversations, uh, we're on Clubhouse every single Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Uh, feel free to click the link below to uh, join us.